Whenever you see an old photograph from Tulalip, it will most likely have been taken by one of four photographers, Edward S. Curtis, Norman Edson, Ferdinand Brady, or John Julien. They have paralleled backgrounds, each one gaining photography experience in their own Western Washington studios. Proximity to the Tulalip Preservation led to their opportunities to photograph some of the earliest images of Tulalip and our people. Edward S. Curtis, born in Wisconsin, moved with his family from Minnesota to Washington in 1887. Curtis's teenage years kick-started an interest in photography that would lead to opening a Seattle studio. Curtis's credits include his photograph of Princess Angeline, daughter of Seattle's Chief Seal, along with his 1898 photo of Puget Sound Native Americans in their canoe, entitled Homeward. Curtis's early photography interest in preserving the vanishing Native American Indian culture began in Seattle and Tulalip and would continue through the support of financier J.P. Morgan. For many years, Curtis traveled the Northwest capturing thousands of images and documenting history from more than 80 tribes, eventually published in 20 book volumes titled The North American Indian. Norman Edson led a versatile life as a poet, painter, art teacher, and photographer. In 1905, he made his way from his Canadian roots to Washington State, trying his hand as a photographer's apprentice, eventually opening up his own studio in Everett. Edson became well known for his photos depicting Northwest life and Tulalip Indians. Ferdinand Brady, 
began a photography career learning the craft in Marysville before opening his own studio in Everett and Anacortes, Washington. Between 1910 and 1917, Brady was contracted by the U.S. government to photograph Tulalip's Indian boarding school. Brady's collection of works eventually made its way to Washington's Anacortes Museum. During the early 1900s, John Albert Julien was also an early photographer, capturing many Northwest events, its evolving industry, the people of Snohomish County, and on the Tulalip Reservation. Julien owned a studio in Everett, and his extensive collection of images was given to the Everett Public Library in 1978. Julene's imagery of Tulalip during these early years remained key to our history. Early Tulalip photographers, whether they were aware of it or not, also caught the images of special caretakers of our people, both then and now. Our loyal dogs! 